Every week feels like 3,000 years, and every month feels like three days. Is that bad? They call me the nuance lover because I love nuance. But only sometimes, of course. It's not always appropriate. Is anyone else constantly afraid they'll be caught doing stuff they're obviously allowed or even supposed to do? Oh, I'm, I'm playing video games on my computer that I own. If anyone sees this, I'm going to have to fake my own death. Hi, Earth Updates today, me again. Uh, I'm more squids. Buddy, you're asking the wrong guy. I just get everyone's coffee orders. Hey, if he's getting squids, can I get a uh, octopi? Brother, I can get you a mocha, not a cephalopod. Behold with your eyes, fish. The tusk of a woolly mammoth being unearthed from a Siberian riverbed. Wrong. Huge earthworm. You know, it costs zero dollars to be nice and friendly. It costs $2.50 for an ice pop from the ice cream truck. You want me to spot you? I'm happy to because I love you. We could have so many forevers together. I love you, Carly Rae Jepsen, but the lyric, who gave you eyes like that, said you could keep them, is absolutely a wild thing to say. Are you going to confiscate someone's eyeballs? Your balls. Hand them over. I could have phrased this better. I was explaining to my mom on the phone the concept of a cosmic horror, and she hit me with the one-hit KO of, Oh, you mean like horror and here's a who? I guess. I explain. Please. Yeah, so basically a cosmic horror is the fear of a godlike being or entity so much bigger than yourself and your perception of the universe that your brain can't possibly comprehend it, often leading to some sort of madness in the stories because of this break in your perception of reality because this entity is so incomprehensible to your limited worldview. The concept is credited to H.P. Lovecraft because of stuff like Cthulhu, but the guy was also a massive... Ah, so like Horton, here's a who, I get it. Wait, so like... Does the Lego movie count? They managed to escape into the human world and it's all hazy because they don't understand the people were controlling them the whole time. Sure, sure, the Lego move is cosmic horror. Why not? Oh my god, this is a long fucking one. All right, here we go, I guess. Uh, this is why I do short ones. The Lego movie absolutely counts, and it's treated that way from the character's point of view. Emmett describes the man upstairs as having hands like giant pink sausages, like eagle talons mixed with squid, where it sounds like a human trying to describe an eldritch horror. Just think. Everyone and everything in his world is made of Lego pieces. They are as fundamental as the subatomic particles that make up our world. From the character's perspective, the humans are gods that created these fundamental elements as drastically simplified playthings imitating their own world. Imagine finding out that the periodic table of elements was constructed by gods in order to build a simulation of something a thousand times more complex. And we are just simulations being puppeted by these gods for their amusement. This also explains why objects like the Craggle and the Scepter of Q-Tip are considered relics with unnatural powers. They are discarded items from the higher, far more complex reality that follow the rules of that reality, not the character's reality. That is why they can influence the character world in ways not normally permitted by that reality. This puts a whole new perspective on the scene where Lord Business uses the nail polish remover on Good Cop, Bad Cop to erase his face! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Bio, I have too many bookmarks. Edit, never mind, I just saw someone with 20k bookmarks, I'm terrified! I have the right of way was a form of protective charm uttered by urban travelers in the early 21st century. They believe this phrase acted as a ward against danger and injury, invoking the divine spirit of traffic law, one of their primary deities. One of its most iconic offshoots are, Hey yo, I am walking here. Can we all agree that it's pathetic when so-called friends try to sabotage your opportunities? You're clearly jealous that the amulet of eternal darkness chose me and no amount of Please fight it, I know you're still in there somewhere. He's going to change that crab bucket mentality. Grow up. Hello, past morning, Seymour. We have been trying to reach you about a serious problem with your characters. You see, people have been going blind from the overabundance of cuteness. We ask you to tone it down or else we will spray you with a water gun. Thank you for your time. The World Health Organization, not the real one, though. (sighs) 
Well, well, well. You finally figured it out. You see, over the last four years, I have been studying the forbidden arts of too cute for comprehension. And it has been <laughs> very successful. But now, my mere new foe, I have larger ambitions. To create a piece so absolutely cute and wholesome, it will blind the whole world. It will be the last thing anyone sees. And it will be glorious. My god, it's, it's worse than we thought. Interns, man the cannons! Oh, you silly, silly bingus. The cannoneers just witnessed a side picking flowers in a sun hat. They can't see anything anymore. Dear gods, we must send in the depressed workers at once! <laughs> You mean those depressed workers smiling at that picture of Chie napping in the field? There is no stopping me now. And past morning, Seymour, was my father. Please, call me Person Man. No! <laughs>